everyone, in today's gardening topic, I'm going to be sharing some repotting tips and my soil mix preference for this Monstera Albo Borzigiani, which is about ready for a repot. So if you care to know more, stay tuned. First things first, I'm Jay Vaness and welcome to my channel. Here we do and talk plenty things. So if that interests you, consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss out when I post new videos. Now let's jump straight into this video. Since I'm going to be covering quite a bit of information, I went ahead and broke it down into six key points. And I've provided a timestamp for when I'll be covering those topics within this video for your reference, as you can easily navigate through this video if you need to come back and rewatch it, or if you just wanna jump straight to a specific topic and learn about it. So first thing I'll cover is when. When should you repot your Monstera? Generally, if the root system is growing through the bottom of the pot, and in my case, out the top, this is generally a good rule of thumb that your plant could benefit from a repot. However, if you put off repotting, it won't harm the plant, but it will stunt the plant's growth, which might not necessarily be a bad thing, especially if you have limited space to work with but I want mine to grow large, so I want to give it as much room for growth. Typically, you'll want to repot the start of the growing season, so early spring is ideal. Next thing to talk about is pot size. Usually with any plant repotting, you'll want to stay within two sizes. So for example, if your plant is in a four inch pot, you can bump it up to a six inch or an eight inch. I wouldn't recommend going any larger than two sizes up, also be sure to pick a pot that has drainage holes. The more, the better. As for soil type, it should be a nutrient dense mixture that holds moisture but doesn't stay soggy. So look for potting mixes that contain peat moss, perlite, or even vermiculite in the soil mixture. The potting mix that I like to use for most of my indoor plants is a cactus and succulent mixture as it does have sphagnum peat moss and perlite. So it is well draining but does hold moisture. I like to add a little bit more perlite to the mix to make it a little bit more well draining. This is what I have found works for me and my other Monstera plants. You can find lots of different soil mixture recipes for Monsteras, but the important factor when selecting or amending your own soil mix is that it is well draining but holds moisture. So now that I have my pot picked out and my soil mix, I'm gonna go ahead and repot this elbow that I got from Logies. I did an unboxing of this plant when it arrived in the mail, so if you missed that fun video and you want to know the story, I'll link the video up top. Take a look at these roots, white and healthy, and there's so much of it. Now just place some soil in the bottom of the new pot, about a few inches. Then center your plant in the pot and then backfill with soil. You'll want to fill the pot with soil up to about an inch below the rim of the pot. This is helpful to do because when you water, you don't want the pot to be filled to the top with soil because the water will displace the soil and then you'll have a small mess. Now that this is potted up, I'm also going to provide a stake for it to eventually attach and grow up. Since these are epithetic plants, they will benefit from being staked. I like to use wood stakes, preferably natural untreated wood. They can um, often be found at Lowe's or Home Depot in the garden section. The reason I prefer to use natural untreated wood um, is because I have found that the airy roots over time will attach itself to the stake. But to start off, it'll need to be fastened to the stake. I like to use yarn as it is soft and because I have a lot of it since I crochet. But you can use any gardening ties or any string to help secure the plant to the stake. Also as a tip to help the plant attach, when I water, I also water the stake at the point where the plant is attached to the stake. This actually helps to encourage the plant anchor itself. After you've gotten your Monstera potted, you're going to want to give it a watering. This also helps the soil to settle. When it comes to watering, I like to top and bottom water my plants. I feel more confident that the soil mix is entirely saturated. Sometimes your soil mix will become compact over time, and when it does, the water will drain more quickly and you'll think you've actually done an adequate watering when in fact there's actually dry portions and patches in the soil. And those roots aren't getting the moisture it needs. 
This is what I've found helpful when watering almost all of my house plants and I believe they're thriving and doing pretty well. Now, as far as fertilizing, I like to use a slow release fertilizer on almost all of my house plants. I like to use a 15-15-15 slow release fertilizer and my plants have been thriving on it. After a repot, you'll want to wait, however, to fertilize. Give your plant time about six to eight weeks to grow and reestablish its root system. Then you can fertilize as normal. I guess that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions or just want to plant chat, you can leave a comment in the space below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram when I am not shooting videos. I am taking pictures as there is always something new growing. And as always, thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.